Hello, I'm Mitch from Cinema Suite, and welcome to the Cinema Face Cap tutorial. Let's get right into it. You'll need a pretty modern Windows machine or a Mac running Windows 8 or above in Boot Camp. You'll also need to make sure your machine is DirectX 11 capable. You'll also need a Microsoft Kinect 2, of course, either the one that was made for PC or the Xbox One Kinect uh, if you have the adapter from Microsoft. You'll also need to make sure you have an open USB 3.0 port. Make sure you also have the Microsoft Connect SDK 2.0 installed. Get it from Microsoft's website. You'll also need Unity 5 or above, and of course, a copy of Cinema Face Cap from the Asset Store. So Cinema Face Cap is just a standard Unity asset. It opens just like any other one. So this import Unity package pops up. You just need to say import. And notice now that under the assets folder in your uh, in your project directory here, we have a new Cinema Suite folder, and inside we have Cinema Face Cap. There's also the documentation if you want to read a uh, PDF documentation. And to open Cinema Face Cap, we go to Window, the new Cinema Suite thing here, Cinema Face Cap, Cinema Face Cap, and this is what it looks like. So to get started, you'll want to just click the off button here to turn on your connect. And there we go. There's our connect view. You want to be about three feet ish away from the connect for optimal capture. You can see this green box comes up and tracks your face just like that. Uh, we have a couple different viewers over here. There's the image viewer, the infrared viewer. Don't know why you'd ever want to use that, but it's there. And up here at the top, we can switch from a solo view to a duo vertical or duo horizontal view if you want to get the infrared and the image at once. We can also use this button here to turn off and on the, uh, the bounding box for your face. So the next thing we're going to do is generate a point cloud so we can see the raw data coming in from the connect. So you just need to click generate point cloud and then we can see it's made the point cloud in our hierarchy here. It is tracking my face now. And this is the raw, unsmooth data coming out of the connect, just being applied to all these points here. So you can see what the connect is seeing in 3D space right in your Unity scene. So let's get rid of that point cloud. And next, we're going to generate a model and see how our movements translate to a model with blend shapes. So we have a couple pre-made models that come with Cinema Face Cap. We have Android Head and Android. Only difference is Android Head is just the head. So we'll generate the head, and here we are. Oh, if the Kinect doesn't seem to be picking you up, maybe take a step back, let it get a bit more of your body, and then that usually helps it find your face for some reason. But anyway, so as you can see, in addition to just tracking your facial movements, it also gets the orientation of your head. You can turn that on and off with this checkbox. So then, just face. We also have mask options down here for, if example, you didn't want uh, the connect to capture your eyes opening and closing, we could just uncheck eye close, and now the eyes won't be affected by the capture at all. We also have smoothing options down here. You can mess with them. We could turn the face smoothing completely off. I don't know, you might prefer that for some reason. Makes it a bit more responsive, but of course not as smooth. And we have a separate smoothing checkbox for orientation. If uh, you want to move your head around unsmooth for whatever reason. So as you can see, with the right amount of smoothing, the capture isn't bad at all. It's definitely useful for something like lip sync. So let's record an animation. If you're a Cinema MoCap user, this should be pretty familiar. We have a start countdown delay thing. We have a save session and session file name uh, area over here, which actually allow you to save the raw data from the, the capture of the animation so you can edit stuff like the smoothing afterwards in our review mode over here. So you'll usually want to keep that enabled for more uh, flexibility in post. But anyway, let's try out an animation. We'll just click record. See the countdown. Three, two, one. Hey, hello. I'm moving a face. 
And now we can go over to the review mode and pick our session that we just saved. We just called it save session. So after you generate a new face for the review and delete the old one, you're able to scrub through the animation you just made. And since this is raw data, we can do cool things like mask things afterwards, like our eyes closed, for example, or if we wanted to, you know, not move the eyebrows anymore, or even, you know, turn off jaw open and jaw slide, we can do that afterwards. In the future, we want to add a timeline reviewer over here so you'll be able to manually delete outliers in your keyframes for a smoother animation. Hitting save will then update your .anim file, which is located under Assets Animations. Now let's apply the animation we just created to a model. With a model in our scene, all we need to do is drop the .anim file onto our face and it automatically creates a animation controller. As you can see, if we select the head, we have controller right over here in animator. And now if we go into play mode, you can see our movement we created, everything is masked off, but it is moving, has been assigned to our model. So that's cool, but what if you want to use your own custom face? We have a tool for that. Go into Window, Cinema Suite, Cinema Face Cap, and Output Wizard. Output Wizard is a tool specifically made for importing a custom face into Cinema Face Cap. One that you made in Maya, maybe, followed uh, our blend shape guidelines found in the documentation. Or uh, you can also use faces made with uh, character generators like Autodesk Character Creator, iClone, Character gener Generator, and Mixamo Fuse. Those models all work great with Cinema Face Cap, and Output Wizard helps automate the process of getting the models in there and matching the blend shapes to Connect's blend shapes. I'll show you. So we have Output Wizard open here, and you just need to pick the model you want to import, and automatically Output Wizard will look at that model's blend shapes uh, and by name compare them to the input blend shapes for the connect and will try its best to match them all up. So as you can see here, Android face is one that we made specifically for Cinema Face Cap, so it's going to get it pretty much perfect. Jaw open maps to jaw open, lip corner, oh no, lip corner depressor left and right, map to lip corner depressor, lip pucker to lip pucker, of course, every character generator's blend shape uh, standards are going to be different. So if uh, you're having trouble getting it matched up perfectly, visit our forums and someone there will help you out. Under style here for each blend shape, we also have uh, positive, negative, and custom functions. For example, if one of the models you want to bring into Cinema Face Cap has like jaw close instead of jaw open, if you just set that to negative, it'll obviously do the opposite, so it's like having jaw open. Same with like, we have eyebrow lower, but uh, a lot of things will just have an eyebrow razor, stuff like that. Jump forward in time here, apparently you can only have one output profile per FBX, so I duplicated it, and we have Android copy now. Just for example, we're gonna use Android copy, and create output profile, and there we go. Now when we go into Cinema Face Cap, we should have Android Copy right there. So that's importing new models into Cinema Face Cap. Let's try one more custom model. This one is from Mixmo Fuse. So we'll open the output wizard and we'll pick Fuse Zombie and we'll set this all up here. So Blink will do left eye closed, right eye closed, left eyebrow lower, right eyebrow lower. Let's do frown left and frown right. Uh, that should be lip depressor right, lip depressor left. I think their smile we call corner puller left and right. So we'll check those. And see how jaw slide right was assigned to jaw right. 
well, we'll put that to positive, and then we'll also assign it to the left and make it negative. So we have it going both directions now. But anyway, it takes a bit of experimentation. Let's see how this worked out. Create output profile. And again, when we go into Cinema Face Cap, we should have View Zombie Uno right there. Anyway, guys, that about covers Cinema Face Cap. Hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial, and we hope you find Cinema Face Cap useful. Thanks for watching.